Hey everybody, it's Brandon, The Weekend Cruiser, where I go on a weekend cruise just about every weekend. And this weekend, I am staying in this amazing owner suite. I have never stayed in an owner's suite before. I've stayed in the Royal Loft Suite, which is probably my second nicest, actually no, my third nicest, and then my second nicest is gonna be the two bedroom Aqua Suite, which is star class on the Oasis. But this is the nicest room that I've ever stayed on in anything that is less than that. Um, and it is a fantastic room. Let me quickly tell you how I wound up in this room. So this was a really cheap sailing. So it is a weekend cruise. So you would think that it would go to Coco Cay and go to Nassau, Bahamas. On this specific sailing, Coco Cay is closed for renovations. So we're not going there. It is closed for this sailing. So we had a sea day and then we went to Nassau. And so if you're looking at coming on a weekend sailing, you're probably going, I want to go to Coco Cay and I want to go to Nassau, Bahamas. Okay, maybe not the Nassau, but definitely Coco Cay. So people just don't book this sailing and this cruise was very, very cheap. And I figured for a sea day, why not go for the nicer owner suite, which was less than what I normally book a junior suite for on Freedom of the Seas. And so here I am in this wonderful stateroom that I want to give you all a tour of. For me, it's really big. I definitely don't need anything like this. Can I do it for three nights? Of course I can. Um, but it's really big. This room is definitely more recommended for people that are traveling with a family. If you're coming with, you know, four people and you want to make sure you have plenty of room, plenty of space, get those sweet benefits that you're going to get in an owner suite. You're going to be well taken care of here and everybody's going to have enough space. But let's get into the room tour on Royal Caribbean's Freedom of the Seas, Stateroom 1348, an owner suite, my first one. All right, welcome to the Rembrandt room. So you may remember on Liberty of the Seas, that's actually one of the names of their dining halls in the main dining room. But this is stateroom 1348. It is an owner suite. The elevators are gonna be right down here on the left, they are one door away. And we are in the midship elevators um, is where we're going to be located. It comes with its own doorbell. I don't know if you could hear that or not, um, but it has its own doorbell for this suite. And this room is just amazing. I mean, I am certainly spoiled staying in here for three days. Yesterday was a sea day. I don't think I even left the room that much. Um, I left to go get food, which I could have had delivered. But for the most part, I stayed in here and got my money's worth. Um, so you'll see, to start out with, you're going to come into a dining room table. So I've not really used this much. It had my fruit plate on it when I got here. Um, and so I did eat some of that, but if you want to play cards, you want to eat here. It's going to have a lot of functionality that you're not going to find in other rooms. Behind the mirrors, plenty of closet space, lights that automatically are going to turn on, space above, storage below as well. So that's where I've got my suitcases at. And that's going to continue. So if you keep walking through here, you're going to find even more hanging space. So if you're a family, that likes to hang things, this is gonna be the spot for you. The, um, oh, what do they call these things? The um, vest that you can wear. Um, those are um, hidden a little bit behind there, but they are still here. You're also gonna see, this is one thing I've noticed, is you've got the, and this is in all the rooms actually, I just happened to notice it here. This illuminates in the dark, so you'll know where to go to get the life jackets. That is the word I was going for. And so if you want to have a wet bar, so if you want to stock it up in here, you can certainly do that. It's going to have plenty of storage. You're going to find your refrigerator down below. Plenty of great spot. And you're going to, of course, have a Lavazza coffee machine. I have not used this one. I've been going down to the actual coffee shop. Um, but you do have your Lavazza coffee machine. If you want a regular coffee or you want the decaf, you can make those here. Your stateroom attendant is very attentive in these rooms. Mine has been wonderful. He's always asking, is there anything that he can do? And one of the things he can do is keep that ice bucket full. I don't take him up on that, but he could if he, um, or if I asked him to. More storage here. You're gonna have some drawers down below. So again, if you're coming with multiple people, you're gonna want some drawer space. So this is nice and deep drawers that you can store things in. And then as I back up over here, you're gonna see this large couch. So for those of you that know me in my personal life, um, you will know that I am a sucker for an L-shaped or large couch. And this couch here will sit multiple people. It's also going to be a pull-out couch. So 
your stateroom attendant can convert this into a bed. Um, and good, a good thing here is there's a power outlet right where that light is. So behind the light there, you're gonna have a power outlet. So if you are the one that's sleeping over here, you can still charge your devices. I think I had to unplug the phone. Let me call that out. So you get a lot of phones in this room. Um, this is one of the cordless phones that you're sitting over here. You can answer without a problem. Um, but you know, I unplugged it because I'd rather have my laptop going. The couch sits really well. I've actually pulled the laptop over here. This is where I've been working from most of the sailing. You're also gonna find that you've got your suite amenities or privileges listed on the forms here. So anything that you're gonna to need to know for the sailing is gonna be listed in here. Again, it does get full suite privileges. So make sure that you're researching everything that is gonna be included in that so you don't miss out on anything. You're also gonna have a comfy little sitting chair here. I've actually not used that any. I probably could have worked from it a little bit and it would have been fine but I have not done that at this time. You're also gonna have an entertainment station here in the middle. So this actually pivots and swir sw swirls? No, it pivots and turns to go to the other side. And actually my stateroom attendant changes the position of this. So during the day, it is pointing the, to the living room. When he comes in and cleans it again tonight, he's gonna turn it and it's gonna be pointing towards the bed. So I actually did watch some of the TV here. You do need to know that it comes with two different remotes. So you're gonna have your TV remote and then you're gonna have your sound bar remote. Luckily, I'm familiar with how to work a sound bar. You've got a subwoofer down below um, and there's a power strip here as well if you need to plug in some extra devices. Um, so no issues on me figuring out how to do that, but there's a little bit of a learning curve to getting your sound working correctly. The key is to make sure you don't have sound coming from the TV and coming from the sound bar at the same time. Then you can get a little bit of an echo with that. Coming into the bedroom where the magic happens. So this is the bed that I've been sleeping on. It has been extremely comfortable. You have some really solid nightstands over here. You all have seen the other nightstands that I stay in. This marble nightstand here, really nice, really wide. You can get plenty of things here. You're also gonna have your announcement channel. So if the captain it's coming into the room. You can't turn that off, but this will have music on it. So I can turn it. Let's see if I can get it to come on. All right, it might not be working right now. Um, or at least maybe that button isn't. This button here, if you press it, is gonna control your pendant lights that you're gonna have on the left and right side of the bed. So that's gonna control the left side. The right side is gonna have its own button. And you're also gonna have a master on and off switch. So if you wanna turn the lights out in the room, you don't have to walk all the way over to the door to do that. You can just push the bottom button there and it's gonna turn it all off. One thing you all may be noticing is you're going, Brandon, gosh, that's a lot of pillows there. Um, I ordered up the pillows. So one thing that you can do, a sweet privilege that most of us probably do not take advantage of, I know that I have not taken advantage of this, is you get the ability to pick your perfect pillow. So they've got different options that you can choose from. Um, and I chose every one of them. I said, bring them all. I want to try them all out. Um, and they did that. They brought me every single pillow. So there's a foam one in there. There's a feather one. There is one that's made of something else. This one here is a full body pillow. So it goes all the way to the other side. And then the four in the back are the normal ones. The normal pillows are really good, but I'm going to do a whole breakdown of what those different pillows are. And you can have your phone over here as well. And the thing that I always love calling out about the phone, it does come with a USB-A port on the side. It is slow charging. It's also going to be, again, another portable phone that you can take around the room with you if you want to. And my Manta sleep mask that I always use when I travel. If I had to have a downside for this room, it's going to be the drawer. So I hid all my stuff in this drawer here, hopefully, or hoping that you all wouldn't see it. And yet you do. The drawers here constantly are coming open. If this ship turns just a little bit, the drawers all pop out. I was sitting here when we left Miami for the first day. Literally all the drawers came out around me, um, which, you know, it's not that big of a deal, but they just need to not have them as greased as they actually are. Behind the mirror, you've got really good storage space here as well that repeats on the other side. This is where your electrical outlets can be, your US and European um, plugs there and the light you can turn on and off there. You're gonna have really good mirrors here, everybody. 
And if nothing else, when you're getting ready to go out for the evening, you can use this mirror and see that view behind you. You can see the water. We just left Nassau and it is beautiful. It's one of my mom's favorite things when she used to get ready in a grand suite, which is a lower tier than this, but she really enjoyed sitting here because she could see the view outside. More electrical outlets for you all to see. You see the little gift that the Karna Anger Society gave me. You're gonna have a standard hair dryer. Unfortunately, when you come to a suite, you don't get a better hair dryer. It is the same one that you had before. More storage, this is where your safe is gonna be if you wanna use that. And you're gonna have a curtain that's tucked away nice and neat here. So this curtain is going to run the track. I don't know if you all can see it up in the ceiling. It'll run that track all the way to the other side. So you do have multiple people in this room. Some people on the left side, some people on the right side. You can split the um, room in half with that curtain. Not gonna give you sound privacy, so you still hear each other, but it'll at least give you visual privacy. And it may dampen the sound just a wee little bit. Coming over here, you've got a little, you know, entryway or foyer that you can use to store things. This is where they left my um, water from the casino and from the Crown and Anchor Society. You're also gonna have, um, I went to a restaurant today called The New Duff. Um, and so that is the place I'm gonna be making a video on coming soon. They gave me some of their sauces there, their guava sauce. And the other one is just a hot sauce that I'm looking forward to trying out when I get home. More storage down below. And of course, the wonderful Weekend Cruiser Teddy Bear. Coming over to the light system. Let's talk about this. There's a lot of light switches over here. So depending on what you want to do, you're going to adjust one of these lights. Honestly, I haven't really figured out this entire system yet, but I played around with them. Um, it's pretty neat just to see what the room can do. You can have different settings and environments based on what your mood is. The key to know is you do have a master switch, so make sure that this one is always on so that it will work for you. The door here, interestingly enough, on this side is not magnetic. Um, the other side is magnetic. I don't know how that's working out. So you saw that I had the Weekend Cruiser logo out there, but my Do Not Disturb sign, I've been storing up here at the top. That is the closest place that you can get, you know, metal that you can store that, or I guess you could store it on your bathroom door. I will also say this room has been running very cool. So even at night, I only turn it to there. Like I don't need it to be at its coldest. So if you are somebody that likes to sleep with it cold, this room is going to be for you. Now behold, the owner's suite bathroom. Now this is just fantastic to look at. It is a beautiful bathroom for a cruise ship and quite frankly is over the top. Like I don't need, you know, my own spa-like experience in a cruise ship bathroom. But if I can get it, if I can have it, that is absolutely fine. Um, it is a really, really nice bathroom. The counters are really high here, which I like. I am six foot, um, so I like having the higher counters. You do have the dual sink so people can get ready at the same time. You're gonna have your toilet as well as a bidet. So if you don't know how to use a bidet, make sure you're watching YouTube videos. Yes, there are YouTube videos on them. No, I did not make them myself. You can watch videos on how to use a bidet. So before uh, my father passed away, one of the memories that's gonna be ingrained in my head is sitting with him and my mom in the living room watching videos on how to use a bidet. Um, through YouTube that are out there. So quite fascinating, but don't just use that carte blanche. And you're gonna have a phone over here that you can use. Interestingly, it's got a USB-A port, so if you wanna charge your phone, you can do that too. The shower, this door here has amazing magnets on it somewhere that it gives you a really solid seal. You're gonna have the upgraded amenities in here with Malin and Goats, which I just saw advertised on the New York City subway. Apparently they're a legit brand. Great shower pressure that did come from this. The water temperature has kind of been a little all over the place. Like it'll be warm for a little bit, then it gets a little colder, I ump it up, and then I get scalding hot water. So just a, a caution there. And if you are coming in here, make sure you're hanging your towel above your spot here, or you're putting it on the tub. If you're like me, you don't want to get the entire floor wet. So that's the best way that you can get to your towels because you can't reach them over here on the ledge when you're in the shower. The tub here is also really nice. I love being able to stay in rooms and then show them to you all because I know how they work. I took a bath earlier today. I was walking a lot in Nassau. I was touring the new Duff. And so I was like, you know what? I just want to unwind when I come back to the cruise ship, jumped in my tub. 
I was pleasantly surprised to learn that it filled up very, very fast. So normally when you go into um, a hot tub of some kind, it takes forever to fill up. This one went really, really quick. So you have your hot and your cold temperatures, the nozzle to turn this little guy on, so if you want to pull this out and use it more like a European shower, is directly behind this faucet. There is a button back there, a lever, that you're going to pull on um, to make that happen. To turn on the actual jets itself, this is your on button, and these are buttons that adjust the water pressure or the air intake. I did not figure out how to work that. I could only get a few of the air modules to work. I got the jet over there and the jets in the back to work, but this is a really good sized tub. Um, I fit in there with no problem. Again, I am a six foot kind of guy um, and I could be easily fully submerged in the bathroom. Now let's walk outside and see what's the balcony experience like in an owner suite. Now this is huge. This is a bigger balcony than I've had in a while and I can see the waves are kind of big out there. I can actually start to feel them a little bit. The first thing that I really love here is you get your lounge chairs, but they come with cushions, so they are super comfortable. This is a great spot to take a nap, to enjoy. You even got a little coffee table there that if you want to put a drink on it, you can do that. Turning to the other side, you'll see the true breadth of how big this place is. So they've got it set up, assuming you're going to have at least four people here, because there's two other lounge chairs here. You're then going to have your dining table on the other end. My favorite thing to do in a suite like this is to order breakfast into the room so you can get that delivered through room service. But for dinner, you can actually order from the main dining room from uh, and have it delivered directly here. So you can eat your main dining room food from the comfort of your balcony overlooking this beautiful ocean. Let me show you kind of the view of what you're going to see. It is a quasi hump balcony, so it is on the part that juts out a little bit, so you get really good views. And you don't really see very much in this direction because you're on the, the side to it, uh, but still not shabby at all. So a very quick tour of the owner suite here on Freedom of the Seas, stateroom 1348. It is huge, you all. It is definitely bigger than I need, but if you are a larger family and you can afford it, it is an amazing suite. There's plenty of closet space. There's plenty of bathroom space. That balcony up there is an amazing place to escape and just get away. I've spent a lot of hours out there myself just on this weekend cruise. It is fantastic. So I will highly recommend this room. Make sure that you're booking grand or owner suites early. They do sell out. The way that Royal releases their inventory their suites sell first. So if you do want one of these and you don't want to have to pay too terribly much money, more than you need to, book it well in advance. Make sure you're getting the room that you want and you're paying a halfway decent price. All right, everybody. This is Brandon, the Weekend Cruiser. Hoping to see you cruising in a luxury stateroom very soon.